Cheers, Gaffer. One chapter closes the end of an era. It's the end of the David Moyes era. Four and a half years after it begun, over with a 4 0 win over Bournemouth at the London Stadium. David Moyes' time as West Ham manager is at an end. And I simply just want to say cheers, Gaffer. Whether you love him or hate him, you have to respect him for what he's done. You might not respect him more recently, but as a whole, you've got to respect where he's taken West Ham. After 261 matches, 112 victories, three top 10 Premier League finishes, a UEFA Europa League semi-final, a UEFA Europa League quarter-final, a UEFA Conference League final, and winning it to bring home a trophy, the first since 1980. A very successful Premier League West Ham permanent manager in our lifetime. An extremely successful manager. And whilst this season, and even maybe last season in terms of the Premier League form, dipped, you can't fault and you can't sit back and say it's not been the, one of the most memorable times in your lifetime as a West Ham fan. Hand on heart, ask yourself, over the last four years, and then try and relate those last four years to the last 20 years. Honestly, hand on heart, you can't tell me you've not enjoyed that ride. That was a roller coaster ride with David Moyes. I never thought with one of the most underwhelming appointments that West Ham bringing David Moyes into the management team back then, especially after letting him go the first time and then bringing him back in to the club would have worked out the way it had. And at the end of the day, it's not worked out in the end. It has worked out in the long run, but it's not in terms of longevity. You know, he had alluded to the fact he was going to stay, potentially stay at the club longer than what he was, but I think there was a time and a place. There was a time and a place, and I think possibly some people are saying the time and a place was after the Europa League Conference League last year, but it never happened. So we had to wait till this summer to see what happened. He got a chance. He got another opportunity to show what he is capable of doing. And unfortunately, he didn't take it. Unfortunately, West Ham didn't take it. And unfortunately, we've got a big rebuild coming our way. But this is not a moan. This is really not a moan. This is genuinely a thank you, Gaffer. Thank you for giving me some of the best nights that I can, like, of my life with my family. Best European nights under the lights at the London Stadium. I'm devastated I never got an away game in, the, in Europe. But I got plenty of home games. And they were such an amazing experience. I've managed to take my little boy with memories of seeing teams. Brilliant journey we've been on. I'm just going to name some of the teams that, you know, just off the top of my head. I remember going all the way back, Rapid Vienna, Ghent, Genk, all you people watching. There's people we've made friends with people from over in Belgium. Mikey, you know, you, you, you love West Ham now. And I love that. Olympiakos. Freiburg, Fiorentina, Alkmaar, Lyon, Sevilla, just to name a few. A coefficiency score. Didn't even exist before that. Didn't even exist. Our European journeys over the last 22 decades, 20 years, have been non-existent. And if they have, it was the end of Total Cup. And people tried to say that the Conference League was the Diddy Cup. Okay. This isn't a slagging off anyway. This is all about the situation is that we put respect on David Moyes' name. He's came in and he's changed many people and many fans' opinion. He really has. No matter if you think that some of his performances this season have been crap, which they have, he holds his hand up and says that they have. No matter what you think of that, you cannot take away from the fact that he has been one of the most successful of our time. He really has. And as his chapter closes, a new head coach comes in. And it's exciting times. It really is. I am genuinely excited. I'm really looking forward to the future of where this can grow. 
I'm skeptical. I'm worried. But essentially, I'm fully on board with what this next move is. And when it's announced, Lopetegui coming in, Lopetegui, sorry, before I get shot down from people accusing me of pronouncing the names wrongs. But once Julien Lopetegui is announced, the work starts. But to be honest with you, the work's already started. Tim's at the wheel. Tim's doing his job. And the new era is amongst us as West Ham fans. Let's stay together. Let's give the new head coach, you know, the best start as a fan, as a manager, as a coach, you name it. Let him know that there's a unity amongst the fan base. This is another opportunity to push on, but we've got a big rebuild and we have to be patient. And we will be patient. Anyway, after giving me one of the best nights of my life, I want to say to you, Mr. David Moyes, thank you very much and cheers, Gaffer. Take it easy. Come on, your hands. <laughs>